Welcome back, second grade. Let's start with a song today that we did last week, and we broke it up into two parts, and we started to sing harmony. Harmony is just where you have two singing parts happening at the same time. So it's called I Hear a Train a Coming. Let's try the first part together. The first part we called the melody. The melody just means it's the lead part. It's the main theme of the song. So here we go, ready? I hear the train a coming. Oh, don't you want to go? I hear the train a coming. Oh, don't you want to go? I hear the train a coming. Oh, don't you want to go? changed it. We held out the word come in and make sure you're pushing air out of your lungs so you have a nice strong sound for your voice. So it went like this. I hear the train a coming. I hear the train a coming. I hear the train a split it up. I want you to be the first part first this time, the melody. Okay, so you're going to sing all the words. I hear the train a coming. Oh, don't you want to go? I will not be singing them all because I will be doing the second part. But you just keep on rolling with that first part. Okay, and then we'll end together. One, two, here we go. I hear the train Switch parts, you are now the harmony part. Come in, hear the train come in. Make sure you stretch your voice out. I'll sing more words than you. One, two, here we go. I hear the train come in. Oh, don't you want to go? I hear the train come in. Oh, don't you want to go? I hear the train come in. Oh, don't you want to go? Thank you for singing with me. Now, let's do something new. This is a little rhyme called A Thousand Hungry Savages. <laughs> and it's actually about students at school. So hungry for lunch. Let me put my guitar over here. Okay, so it goes like this. A thousand hungry savages sitting down to lunch. Gobble, gobble, gulp. Gulp, munch, munch, munch. A thousand hungry savages sitting down to lunch. Gobble, gobble, gulp, gulp, munch, munch, munch. Repeat after me. A thousand hungry savages sitting down to lunch. Gobble, gobble, gulp, gulp. Munch, munch, munch. Let's try all those words together. Ready? Here we go. A thousand hungry savages sitting down to lunch. Gobble, gobble, gulp, gulp, munch, munch, munch. And we're going to put some moves to this. First, on the word thousand, we're just going to snap one time. A thousand hungry savages. Let's try it. One, two, ready? A thousand hungry savages. And then sitting down to lunch. Sitting down to lunch. We're going to clap that rhythm. Sitting down to lunch. And then we're going to move to our legs. Gobble, gobble, gulp, gulp. 
pat that rhythm, and then stomp, munch, munch, munch. Let's try it, starting here, and then we move down to here, then to our legs, and finally to our feet, okay? Ready, here we go. A thousand hungry savages sitting down to lunch. Gobble, gobble, gulp, gulp, munch, munch, munch. A thousand hungry savages sitting down to lunch. Gobble, gobble, gulp, gulp, munch, munch, munch. Okay, now, there's going to be a couple other parts to this rhyme, and you are going to create them. Well, I created the first one, but you're going to create a couple more. So, you're going to come up with a list like this that has four types of food. I just picked sandwich, apple, chips, and a cookie. Okay? And we are going to be um, clapping and saying the words on our lists. So for example, on mine, we would go, sandwich, apple, chips, and a cookie. And yes, I added the words and a, uh, because I could fit them in. It depends on how long your words are. Sandwich, apple, chips, and a cookie. Sandwich, apple, chips, and a cookie. And we're gonna say each one twice, each list twice, like I just did. Now, what you're going to do is get a paper and pencil and pause the video and you're going to come up with your lists. Okay? Each, you're going to have two lists. Each of your lists has four types of food in it. So you're going to have one list of four and then you'll have another list of four. And I want you, before you start the video again, I want you to practice saying and clapping it with a nice steady heartbeat and clapping the rhythm. Sandwich, apple, chips, and a cookie. You can have whatever you want. You could have pizza, chocolate milk, ice cream, and donuts. Oh, that's a lot of bad food. That's a lot of junk food. But whatever, you can, you can pick whatever you want for today. Okay? So come up with two lists while you pause the video, and then come back when you're ready to try the whole thing together. Okay. So here we go. The pattern is going to be the main theme. A thousand hungry savages sitting down to lunch. Okay, that whole thing. We always do everything twice. So we'll do that twice. And then it'll be my list. And then we go back to the main theme. A thousand hungry savages sitting down to lunch. And then we go to your first list. I don't know what you wrote, so I can't say it with you, but I'll just... Do the, the steady heartbeat while I listen to what you do. And then we'll go back to the main theme. A thousand hungry savages. And then we'll do your second list. And then finally, we will end with the main theme again. And we've done these kind of things before where we go back and forth to these different parts. And it's called a rondo. So we're going to do a rondo with our rhyme about a thousand hungry savages. Okay? Here we go. Have your lists in front of you ready to read. First will be the theme, and then my list, and then the theme, and then it's your turn. One, two, ready? A thousand hungry savages sitting down to lunch. Gobble, gobble, gulp, gulp, munch, munch, munch. A thousand hungry savages sitting down to lunch. Gobble, gobble, gulp, gulp, munch, munch, munch. Sandwich, apple, chips, and a cookie. Sandwich, apple, chips, and a cookie. A thousand hungry savages sitting down to lunch. Gobble, gobble, gulp, gulp, munch, munch, munch. A thousand hungry savages sitting down to lunch. Gobble, gobble, gulp, gulp, munch, munch. Your turn. Here we go. A thousand hungry savages sitting down to lunch. Gobble, gobble, gulp, gulp, munch, munch, munch. A thousand hungry savages sitting down to lunch. Gobble, gobble, gulp, gulp, munch, munch. Now your other list. A thousand hungry savages sitting down to lunch. Gobble, gobble, gulp, gulp, munch, munch, munch. 
A thousand hungry savages sitting down to lunch. Gobble, gobble, gulp, gulp, munch, munch, munch. Okay, now, if you had trouble fitting your words into the number of heartbeats that I gave to you, then try to make your words a little bit shorter. Try to say them on the heartbeat and see if you can fit them in there. So you can go back and practice that a few times and see if you can fit them in there nicely, okay? All right, and I have one more activity for you today. Now this one, this one has to do with the thing we were doing last, last couple weeks with the strong beats and the weak beats. And then we learned about bar lines and I used the word measure. A measure was where, it's sort of like a word in music, right? It's that space in between the lines where you can put your little music ideas. Just like when you're writing a sentence, each word is like its own little idea that you write down. So we're gonna take one extra step with that today. And um, I guess we'll, let's, let's review the, the chart from last week first and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, so here's our bar line chart that we had last week. And remember, we basically, we looked at it and we said, okay, those vertical black lines are bar lines and they separate our little words, right? So our little words are called measures. And you can see the on the top part, the first little measure is do, do. The next measure is do, do day. The next measure again is do, do day. And the final measure is do, shh. And we put all that together. And we also noticed, and this is what we're really gonna concentrate on today, we noticed how many beats heartbeats are in each measure. In that top line of music, we have two heartbeats in every measure, right? Because do plus another do, that's two. Do plus do day, that's also two. So let's try saying that first line. One, two, here we go. Do, 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 do day. Do, do day, do shh. The second line had how many beats in each measure? Three is the correct answer because do plus do plus do equals three. And so does do day plus do day plus do. That also adds up to three heartbeats. Let's say that one, the whole blue line. Here we go. Do, do, do. Do day, do day, do. Shh, do, do. And finally, of course, the bottom part has four beats in each measure. Let's say it. One, two, here we go. Do, 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 do. Do, day, do. Shh, shh. Okay, now the extra step that we're going to add today has to do with some symbols called time signatures, okay? Time signatures, time is sort of like, that's the same in music, that's the same as the heartbeat. The heartbeat is keeping time for your music, okay? And we're gonna do three different time signatures today. And you can see each one has a number. Yes, again, we have a number two and a three and a four, just like we were talking about a minute ago. And under it, we have an upside down do, or an upside down quarter note. We've been calling them do's when we say them in our music, but their proper name is a quarter note doesn't matter that they're upside down. It's still the same kind of note, okay? So all this means is, if we use this symbol for our music, we're telling everybody that we're using two heartbeats, two do's, two heartbeats for our music. This one we would use, of course, if we had three heartbeats for our music. And we would use this symbol if we had four heartbeats for our music. So I'm gonna show you another chart now, and I'm going to ask you to help me figure out which lines of music should have a two heartbeat time signature, a three heartbeat time signature, or a four heartbeat time signature. Let's take a look. Okay, so here we go. Take a look at this. We have a lot of music notes on this chart, and you can see we have some empty blank spaces at the beginning of each line of music. And if I was with you in class, then we would fill those blank spaces in with our numbers, either two heartbeats, like two 
do heartbeats, or three heartbeats, or four heartbeats. Those are our time signature choices. But since I'm not with you, we're just going to do it on our own and talk about it. So first of all, let's start at the top line. How many heartbeats are in each measure? If you said two, you are correct, because we have do, day, do, before we have a line. That's two heartbeats, and then another one, and then just two do's. And then look at the last measure over there. That's one of our new notes. That's a half note. That's two beats long all by itself. So don't forget about that. You're going to see some more of those later in the chart. And it's sort of like doing a little math problem. You have to remember that a half note is two beats all by itself. So we know that we would have a two time signature for the top line. Can you find the other line of music that would have two as its time signature? Glance through, see if you can find the other line that only has two heartbeats. And there might be some tricky things there. See if you can figure it out. The correct answer is the very last line of music. You can see in the first measure, we have do, sh, and that's it. That's two heartbeats right there. Now look, we have something different in the second measure. We have do, and then we have two little notes with flags hanging off of them. That is another way of writing do day. We don't see it all the time, but sometimes we have it. And that's th this chart is just introducing that to you. So that's another way of writing due day with the little flags on the notes. So that would be due, due day. And then we have another half note. Well, that's two beats all by itself. Do, yeah. And then we have another do sh at the end. So let's try saying that whole line of music. This is the last line on the chart. One, two, here we go. Do, sh, do, do day, do, do, sh. Let's go back to that first one again. We never said that one. The first line on the chart. One, two, here we go. Do day, do, do day, do, 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 do. All right, now go to the second line on the chart. The second box of music. What time signature should we have for this one? How many heartbeats are in each measure? The correct answer is four. We have do, do, sh, sh. That adds up to four, and so does the other one. Can you find the other line, the other box of music that has four as its time signature? Count them up. Which one has four? It's the second from the bottom. We have do, 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 day, do. That's four. So we should have a four time signature for that line as well as the second line near the top. So let's go back to the second line near the top and let's say our do's and do days. One, two, here we go. Do, do, sh, sh, do, day, do, sh. Now let's go to the second line from the bottom where we have our other four time signature. Let's say those notes. One, two, here we go. Do, 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 day, do, do, day, do, do, sh. Okay, now let's go to the third line, the third box of music. What time signature should we have for this group of notes? How many heartbeats are in each measure? Well, look at the first measure. We have do, do, do. That's three. But look at the second measure. Some students will say, but Mr. Davidson, there are only two music notes. That's right, there are only two music notes, but they add up to three heartbeats. You have do, do. It adds up to three. Let's say that entire line of music. Here we go. Do, do, do. Do, 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 shh, shh. 
and the one right under it, the next box down, that's the other one that has a three time signature. Let's say it. Here we go. Do, 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 day, do, day, do, day, do. Shh. All right. Nice job. Okay, second grade. That's all we've got for today's music class. I will see you next time with some more songs and activities. Bye-bye.